Uh, right here everyone, what's up? Today I'm gonna make a little tutorial video on this mod called Salas Consistency Tracker. This is a really cool mod that you might have seen at the top of my screen a few times when doing like golden runs, especially in like 90s stuff, you might have seen it. And it tracks all these really cool stats and stuff. But uh, a lot of people like ask about it and I wanna use it and then are like instantly overwhelmed by the amount of options this has. It's just like just like look at this. Like there's there are so many options, submenus and stuff. So like I can't blame anyone if they feel overwhelmed or don't know how to use it and stuff. So I've like had a lot of people ask me like, hey, Pat, could you make like a tutorial on how to use this? And I'm like, yeah, that that is a good idea. So that that's what I'm gonna do today. That's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna be doing. Now I'm not gonna go over everything you can do with this mod because it's like a lot. But today I'm just gonna kind of teach the basics you need to know to use this stuff. So uh, I'm gonna just walk you all through uh, how you set this stuff up. So I just picked like you just go through your map here. I just picked Farewell Seaside because I don't know. I just wanted to pick a random map. Right, and once once you're in the map, right, we're just gonna go to the mod options, and you're gonna scroll to consistency tracker, right? Uh, for you, it's probably not gonna be this far up. It's gonna be in alphabetical order. It's gonna be at the C, so it's it's fairly far up. So when you get here, there is a lot of sub menus. Like every single one of these is a sub menu with like more stuff in it, and and it's it's very overwhelming. There's so much stuff here. So um, the first thing you wanna do when using this is you wanna go to path management. We gotta record a path for a map first. Uh, there is two ways to do this. You can do start a path recording, which you can basically just click this and then exit out and then just play through the map like you normally would and clear the map. Um, there is an easier way though. Maybe abort recording. There is also an option to record path via debug map. So if you click this and then exit out, you can open the debug map with F6 and you get the debug map here. And now you can just kind of like click on the rooms that you know, you can just click on your right. If it's a bigger map, you can just like click on all of them in order. And then once you're done, you just hit escape. You go back to mod options, scroll down, go to path management, and then save path, and then confirm. So uh, now for me, you see the things showing up at the top. It probably won't do that yet for you. So the next thing I want to do is we want to set up like, our, you know, the, the, the actual text and what it says and stuff. So for that, we just skip over these for now and we go to in-game overlay settings. And this is kind of where you have your text overlays, right? So there's like, there's like four text options. Uh, for now, just like go to the first one. Don't worry about the other ones. <laughs> and uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of presets here. Uh, CCT comes with like a bunch of like basic ones that are already there. Uh, but you probably are gonna want more than that or a custom one. I have my paired info one, which has all these stats you see. Uh, I'll probably link this one in the description. You can just copy this one. But uh, if you wanna make your own, um, you want to go up to live data settings and you want to scroll to the bottom here and there's this thing called open format editor in browser and you want to click on that and it will open this browser page with uh, basically the editor where you can make this stuff. This is my paired info one, uh, it might look like a lot and it is also all your presets will be here. So let's just like make a new one and this is just going to be the text that shows up in the corner of your screen, right? And there is a lot of things on the right here. That you can use uh, some of them speak for themselves you know just campaign name is just gonna be the name of the campaign uh, if you don't know what they mean though what you can do is you, here below the opening browser there's the open format text file if you click that it's gonna open this text file which has an explanation for what a lot of these mean as a little text behind what all of these mean so like if you want to look up what anything a specific means you, you can look it up here it's most likely gonna be explained in this there's like a lot of stuff here but basically, uh, you can kind of just click on these to insert them here. So uh, if you want to have, you know, the name of the campaign at the top, you just kind of click this and it's going to be there. You know, it's going to show up as Feral Seaside. It's the previews down here. That's a, this is how it's going to look in game, basically. You can also give it a name. So let's just call it like Golden Runs or something. Um, and below this, we, we can just put the other stuff. Like, um, you can just kind of look through this and look see whatever you want. And there's like a ton of interesting sets. There's the like golden chance to end, which calculates the chance of getting to the end from the current room based on your like successors in every room and stuff. It's, it's pretty interesting stuff. You can just kind of customize however you want. Um, I have this one, which it has like the room name, uh, the room number in chapter out of total. So just, this just kind of shows like this is the first room out of three total and the percentage of how far in the map it is. Current run uh, number, which just shows like uh, how good the run is, you know, if this is your 10 for, 10th for this run, it's gonna show 10. If this is your best run, it's gonna show PB. Uh, there's like the, my PB. It's, uh, there's a room streak, which is how many times you've been in the room in a row without dying. 
if you want this one exactly that I use, uh, I will put it in the description. You can just copy it and put it in here. If you want to make something yourself, go for it. You can make a... Uh, there's like a lot of interesting stats that I don't use because <laughs> it would just fill up the entire screen if I put all the stats that would be interesting there, right? Okay, let's just for the sake of this tutorial video make like a quick thingy here. Uh, let's just like get the campaign name. Then we're gonna go to the room and we're gonna show like um, the room name. Put like a... Anything that you write here yourself is just gonna show up like that. And we'll put the room failure so we can see how many times we've died in this room. Uh, we'll show like our PB, a current, of current furthest run, which we'll just do like PB best. And then maybe we'll put like, uh, maybe behind this as well, we'll put like a, the, where's the room streak? Room current streak. So we can see how many times we get the room in a row. Maybe we put like streak colon. And we can just see that. Maybe put like an X at the end so it looks like so many times. Uh, we can also put like the same thing here. We can put like depths. And we can put like current here. And then we can do like PB this. And that, that let's just go with that. We just create new format. And uh, if you ever want to edit this, you can just edit it on the spot. You can open it, edit it, and then save as again. And then it will just update it. You don't have to restart your game. But uh, let's not put that there. So once you've made your little thingy, you want to go back to your game, and there's this thing called reload format. You click this, you're gonna reload all the files and formats you made, and then you go back down to in-game overlay settings, go down to text one, and you will be able to find. Right. Okay. So you have to just exit out of the map first. <laughs> so uh, after you just wanna reload format, file, exit out of the map, go back in the map, and then it should show up here. Golden runs. Right. That's the little thing we made. And it will just be in the top right of the screen now. Now, for you, it probably won't be in the top right of the screen. Uh, you can customize the position and everything in here as well. It's going to be quite big. I put the size down to 40% because at 100% it looks like uh, this. <laughs> I like putting it down to like 40. You can also offset it. You, can, you know, you can like change the position slightly wherever you want. I think I added like 4. You can make a hide in the golden run, which we don't want. We want to see it in the golden run. Uh, you can also... You know, choose the corner up to put it, or you know, in the middle of your screen, I guess, if you want it right there. <laughs> uh, I like having this personally. I like having these uh, kind of. Oh, where is it? Yeah, I like having this one in the top right, and in the top left, I have like the best runs and the best session runs, which is just like gonna show my top five best runs of all time, and then my top five best runs of this session. Which, uh, if you want to have more than one, you can go down to text two, and then put that on whatever else you want. So I have this on PB, which shows my best runs and best session runs. There's also like this, I think this is one of the presets that so shows best runs. Use that as well. You can also customize it. I made this one a bit smaller. And you can have even more. You can have up to four custom ones. And you can actually bind these to uh, keyboard shortcuts. So if you go down to keyboard config, right? You can bind a button to a height and show the overlay. So I press O. Okay, well, it doesn't work in the menu, but it will hide and show it if you want to like hide it. And you can bind your text overlays to your keys. I have them bound to 1, 2, 4, which means that if I press them on my keyboard, it will hide and show them. It will show the other ones. On number 4, I have my low def one. So if I want to go do a low def, you know, I just like hide the, the best runs and then show the low def one with key 4. Now over in live data settings, there's a few more options you can maybe look at. That's the room name format. You know, you can show it as DT3 the termination tree or the, just the debug room name. I like having it like the shortened checkpoint name and number. Um, I would recommend enabling this height formats when no path. Uh, what this does is uh, if you haven't recorded the path for your map, it will uh, not show the overlay because otherwise it will just show the overlay and all the numbers will be replaced with like no path or something like that. So make sure to enable that. I would recommend that. And then this other stuff isn't that important. That's the success rate colors. Uh, basically, on the debug map, see these red lines that indicates my success rate at the rooms, which can customize the colors that show up at certain percentages. Okay, so just to show it off in action and show a few more features, I'm just gonna like go and get this golden right now, I guess. Oh, well, okay, this. Wow, this map's actually possible. <laughs> Maybe not, not so quick, but. Uh... Ah! Oh, okay, well. And now it's us room 2. 
Now, actually, if you want the tracker to stop um, tracking like your data or like your runs and stuff, because you might want to test something with the golden bay or like a golden room or like you just you just like labbing something and then want the depths to count up, uh, you can press P on your keyboard. This will pause the tracker. You can also do see it in the mod options. It says pause depth tracking. You can just put that on on, and this way it should not do it anymore. Though you have to make sure. Um, there's this option called always track golden depths, which even if it's paused, it will still track golden depths. So you have to like turn this off if you don't want golden depths to count. Because uh, some stats like success rates are just based on playing the room even without the golden. So you can pause those if you're like labbing something with P. But if you want to like stop tracking golden depths entirely, you have to make sure that this is turned off. Now, actually as well, for example, if, you, if you're if you messing around with gift golden uh, and you accidentally like... Uh, do die to a later room that you didn't get to and you ha didn't have the tracker paused what you can do is you can go to data wipe and you can reset all golden berry deaths on the chapter or the room you gotta make sure you're on the right one you know you can remove golden berry deaths on this room which will uh set my pv back to room two times three now if you accidentally collect the golden early you can reset golden berry collection as well no well and now my PV is room 3, but actually... Now, another cool thing, uh, CCS, if you click tab, you're gonna get this summary screen. And this has, like, a lot of stats about just your golden runs. It has, like, uh, a graph for each of your sessions you can scroll through. I think it's with shift, you can scroll to the top tabs, if you look. And then with, like, uh, W, I can scroll through the different pages within a tab. And there's a bunch of cool charts and, like, graphs and, like, total time spent on rooms and like there is a lot of cool stats here uh it's not really necessary or that useful for anything but it's very fun to look at and i mean sometimes it can be useful to look but like you know the room is you die to most your your worst consistent room because uh it, it sorts rooms by choke rate and uh, as you can see room 2 have 100 percent choke rate i <laughs> i died to it 100 percent of golden runs that I got there Room 2 has 80%, which maybe means maybe I should go practice Room 2 more, because 80% of runs to get to Room 2 died there as well. No, come on, man. Why, girl? Come on. And alright. That's it. That's gonna be my basic tutorial as to how you to use consistency tracker. Um, this is a really cool mod. Shout out to Vidi for making this. It's, it's so cool. It has even more functionality than I have showcased here. There's like some more cool features like pace ping and um, physics inspector, which I decided were like too niche and complicated to be worth talking about here. But uh, if you have any further questions about this mod, there is an FAQ tab within the mod itself that answers a lot of things. Uh, if there's anything else though, j j feel free to comment and ask about anything that you want to know. Or like any other tutorial or guide videos you want me to make in the future. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Bye bye bye. Have a good day. Bye bye.